Hello, good evening, everybody. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. Good night. <laughs> All Hi. right, can you hear me? Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Can everybody hear me or no? Yes. Yes? Okay. Yes. Yes. All right. Excellent. Okay. Very good. How was your weekend, everybody? How was your weekend? Did you have a good weekend? Yes. Yeah? Yes. What, what did you do on the weekend? Well, I was busy at home. You're I busy. do. Uh -huh. Yeah. I do all the cleaning in my uh -huh. house. I also wash my bed. You wash your bed? Yeah. My pet. My oh, dog. your pet. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Good, good. Anything else? Anything else? Uh, anybody else did something different, interesting this weekend? No? Nothing? No. Okay. No. All right. <laughs> well, um, I hope at least that you were able to rest um, so that you were ready for this week. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to start with our attendance. So we'll start with Ana Isela Yanis. Present. Wonderful. Thank you very much. And Ana Ruth Perez. Ana Ruth Perez. Uh, Carlos Ernesto Flores Bonilla. Carlos Ernesto Flores Bonilla. Hmm? Okay. What about Diana Cristabel Melendez? Rivera? No? Okay. Ahí aparece conectada, teacher, pero no sé si estará. Tendrá el inconveniente de la computadora la vez pasada. Diana, Diana, Diana. So, ¿Estamos hablando de Diana? Sí, Diana Cristabel Meléndez Rivera. Diana Cristabel. ¿Por qué no la veo? Ah, es, es la que está con, ah, está conectada al audio. Yeah. Ok, bueno. Well. Vamos a esperar a ver qué pasa. Ok. Uh, Gerard, Gerardo José Tepas. I'm here. Ok, very good, thank you. Um, José Mauricio Martínez. Martínez Serabia. I'm here. Wonderful, thank you. Eh, Juana Margarita Sea. Juana Margarita Sea. Catherine Suleima Poca Sangre. Catherine Suleima Poca Sangre. Y eh, Catherine Nicole Salazar. Catherine Nicole Salazar. All right, thank you. Eh, Katy Jordan. Um, uh, Jordana Dos Cruces. Katy Jordana Dos Cruces. No. Uh, okay. Laura Lisa Peña. Thank you. Lorena Araceli Hernandez. Present. Okay. Can you turn on the camera so we can see you? No la logramos ver, Lorena. Lorena? Sí, teacher. Okay, no, no la hemos logrado ver todavía. ¿Es, ¿Está de en camino o...? o... Fíjese que no, lo que pasa es que estoy enferma, Ticha. Ah, estoy ok. Enferma. 
Ok, ok. Ok, bueno, gracias ahí por conectarse. Gracias okay. a usted, Ticha. Ok, Melissa Cecilia Beltrán. Present, Ticha. All right. Eh, ¿Será posible que pueda encender la cámara, Melissa, para poder verla? Sí. Ay. Yes. Ok, wonderful. Thank you very much. Ok, Mirna del Carmen Ruano. Present teacher, I'm here. Ok, very good. Eh, Oscar Anto, uh, Otoniel, perdón. Oscar Otoniel Cruz. Oscar Otoniel Cruz. Roberto Carlos Alfaro. Present. Ok, very good, thank you. Salvador Antonio Martínez. Here, teacher. Excellent, thank you. Sebastiana Guadalupe Aguilar. Present, teacher. Wonderful, thank you. Tamara Eugenia Aguilar de Sagastume. Present, teacher. All right, very good. And Ursula Adriana Burgos Enriquez. Úrsula Adriana Burcos Enríquez. Ok. Ok, recordarles que necesitamos que sus cámaras estén encendidas. Eh, al menos pues que hay alguna razón de fuerza mayor por la que usted ha informado, ¿verdad? Pero de lo contrario pues debe de estar encendido. Ok. Um, porque veo que si sí hay varias personas que todavía eh, no han no han accionado su cámara ok everybody um, ok just give me a moment There you go. All right, so last class, we were talking about the simple past. Okay, so last class, we were talking about how to talk about the past with regular verbs and irregular verbs. Do you remember that? Do you remember that or no? Yes. Yes. Yeah? Oh, okay. Very good. So we're going to be... Um, we're going to be remembering that. Um, okay. Okay, so. All right, so this is about the simple past. Uh, like I said, we uh, if we're talking about um, the regular verbs, the regular verbs have basically um, three, yeah, three uh, rules. One, add ed. Uh, two, if it finishes in, oh, add ed or add just d if, if it finishes already in e. Um, the second rule is that we're going to put um, the I E D if it finishes in a consonant plus a Y. And then the last one is if you have the rule of the one one one, we put um you put um the double double consonant, right? Double consonant, and then E D, like this one. Like stop, we put a double P and then E D. So those are the, the rules for the regular verbs. With the irregular verbs, well, the word says it, right? Irregular, so there's no rules. And you're gonna have to be just memorizing. So what we're gonna do right now um, is, um, okay, we're gonna be completing 
this exercise here, okay? Um, we're going to put the verb in parentheses in the correct form. Uh, did we, we didn't do this activity before, or did we? Creo que no, todavía no habíamos no. llegado a ese, ¿verdad? No, not yet. Yeah. Okay, so here we have the regular verbs that you're going to be using, and here are the irregular verbs that we're going to be using. Okay, so I'm going to uh, be sending you this in the WhatsApp group. Okay. All right, I'm going to share it in the WhatsApp group. Okay, please tell me if you can see the picture that I just sent you. Can you see the picture that I just sent you? Yes. Yes. Okay. Good. All right. So we're going to be working in pairs and you're going to be um, completing the exercise. All you have to do is put the verb in parentheses in the correct form. So if it's affirmative, put, put it in affirmative. If it's negative, put it in negative. If it's a question, change it to the question. Ah, by the way, if it's a question, make sure that you use did. Okay used it at the beginning. All right. So um, I'm going to be putting you into breakout rooms, but I just want to make sure that everybody is actually here so that you can work together. Um, quiero ver Mirna del Carmen. Hello. I'm okay. All right. Wonderful. Okay, Catherine Suleima, Poca Sangre. Present. Okay, are, are you going to be participating? Catherine, are you going to be participating? Got, uh -huh. Sorry? Can you repeat? Can you participate? Uh, okay, yes. Yes, okay, good. Yes. All right, Melissa Cecilia Beltran? Yes, no, teacher. Okay, good. No paguen las camaritas porque así yo sé que, que usted sí está en la clase y que va a participar. Eh, okay. Lorena Araceli Hernández? Estaré en escucha, teacher. So you're not going to be participating? She not. Uh, uh. No? Okay. No. Um, okay. Okay. Katherine Nicole? Okay, will you be participating? Yes, teacher. Okay, good. And Diana Cristabel? Yes, teacher. Will you be participating? Yes. Okay, perfect. All right, all right. Um, Okay, so I'm going to give you about um, about seven minutes to do this, okay? And we're opening the rooms right now.
Do you say it? Stay it. Yes. Stay it. No. No. Is a stay. Is you did. Did you? Did you stay? Did you stay? Come on Saturday. Is the second the little B is no I no I, I didn't, didn't I call. didn't call. Lo voy a escribir. No, I didn't call. Uh -huh. Aha. Okay. No, I didn't call. My friend we we didn't we did we did drive to a cafe ah, for lunch. El, it's correct. The bus is drove. Drove. We drove. We did drove. Or oh, we drove. We drove. Okay. Next, so in little a, this is how, how do you spend? Correct. How, yes. How spend? Spend your last Thursday. No, I. Uh -uh. Okay. I. I had last Thursday. Oh. Mm. Is had or I had or I have. A party. I had. I had. I had. Everyone enjoy it. Enjoy it. This, this is correct. In, enjoy it. Enjoy it. Every, uh, everyone. Everyone. Enjoy it. Mm. Enjoy it. Didn't. Like. El último didn't like. Didn't like. Mm -hmm. And little three, number three, little A. What, what did you do last night? I, I got, I went. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Are you uh, guys finished? Are you finished or not yet? Not yet, teacher. Oh. Not yet. yet, teacher. Okay, no problem. You can continue. If you have any questions, I will be more than happy to help you. Teacher, I have a question. Uh huh. Uh, well, uh, with the number four, the, the answer is yes, I went, but the next verb is in the past or in the present, because uh, I go shopping or I went shopping. All of these are because in the, in the answer, in the first verb, we have yes, but with the verb, always in the past. The, the the exercise is in the past, yes.
Does that make sense? Okay, thank you. Yeah, the exercise one is the past. Okay. No, I didn't. I didn't. I invite fri I invite friends over. Friends over, uh huh. And I cook dinner for them. Okay. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. This one. Oh, and now it's practice. Oh. Okay. Eh, okay. Eh, empieza tú y después. Okay. You are A and I, A, B. Mm -hmm. Did you stay home on Saturday? No, I didn't call my friend. We drove to a cafe for lunch. How do you how do you spend your your life birthday? I have a part I had a party. Everyone enjoyed it, but the neighbors didn't like the noise. What did you do last night? I went to the new Jim Carrey film. I love it. Did you did you do did you do anything special over the weekend? Yes, I did. I went shopping. Unfortunately, I spent all my money. Now I am broke. Did you go did you go out on Friday Friday night? No, I didn't. I invited friends over and I cook dinner for them. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys and girls, so we're going to be checking the answers. And please tell me if you can see my screen. Can you see it? Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. Wonderful. Okay, perfect. All right, so we're going to be checking the answers. So the first one is letter did, A. Mm -hmm. Did you stay? stay. Uh, did you stay? Did you stay home on Saturday? It notice that because it's a question, stay is going to be in the original form. Right? No okay. to stay because did is already in the past. The okay. did is a passive do. So it's not necessary. It's not necessary to put a double past. Okay. okay. 
it's not necessary to change mm -hmm. the the word to past. Right. Okay. Yes. We never actually in English we never use a double anything. So we don't we never use a double negative or things like for example, you know how in in, in Spanish you say yo no sé nada. Yo mm -hmm. no sé nada. That's a double negative. No sé, right? That's negative. And nada is negative. But in English, we never do that. We have to say, I don't know anything. Not, I don't know nothing. So the same thing here. We cannot have a double the past, right? Because this already right. is in the past. Okay? Okay. All right. Next. Called. No, I... Called. I didn't. Called. Uh, no, I, I called my friend because mm -hmm. it says that you stay home on Saturday. Uh huh. He said no. Yeah, it says no. I didn't st like I didn't stay at home on Saturday. I called my friend. Yeah. We, we drove. Drove. Very good. We drove to a cafe for lunch. For lunch, yeah. Sounds good, everybody? Yes. So far so good? Yes. At this point, yes. All right, excellent. Thank you. All right, next. How? Did you spend? Good. How did you spend? Again? We're not going to do anything to spend because it's a question. How did you spend your last birthday? Answer. I. I had. I had. Good. I had a party. Everyone. Enjoyed it. Excellent. Very good. Everyone enjoyed it. But the neighbors don't like or didn't like. Good. Like. Because it's the past, right? So don't is the present, but the past of don't is didn't, right? So, but the pair, okay. the bears didn't, didn't what? Didn't like. Didn't like the noise. Good. All right. Excellent. Yeah. Number, number three. What? Did you do? What did you do? Do again? Do we leave in the original part because it's a question? Did you do? Next, I went. When? Because it's irregular, right? So the the passive go is went. I went to the new Jim Carrey film. I loved. Loved. Good. Loved. I loved it. I loved it. Okay. Number four. Did you do? Uh, did you, you do? do? Yes. Again, it's a question, so do is going to be in the original form. Did you do anything special over the weekend? Yes, yes I, I did. I did. Good. Yes, I did. I went. went. Good. I went shopping. Okay. Yes, I did. I went shopping. Unfortunately, I spent. 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 Right? I spent all my money. Now I'm broke. Next, number five. Did, did, did you? you? Good. Did you go. go? Go. Okay, again, it's a question. So we only change do to the past. So we say did and go stays in the original form. So did you go out on Friday night? No, I, I didn't. didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I invited. 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 
runs over. And I hooked. Good. And I cooked dinner for them. Okay. All right. Any questions, guys? No. No questions? Are you sure? No. No questions at all? Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you. All right, so now what we're gonna do is concentrate on the questions. So look at these questions. First question is, oh, oh, just a second. First question is, did you stay home on Saturday? Did you stay home on Saturday? Yes. Next question is, how did you spend your last birthday? Next question. What did you do last night? What did you do last night? Next question. Did you do anything special over the weekend? Did you do anything special over the weekend? And finally, the last question was, did you go out on Friday night? Did you go out on Friday night? Any questions about these questions? Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're going to now put you into pairs and you're gonna be asking each other these questions. So you're gonna be asking, did you stay home on Saturday? Did you spend your, sorry, how did you spend your last birthday? What did you do last night? Did you do anything special over the weekend? Did you go uh, out on Friday night? Okay, so asking your partner these questions, and of course, your partner's gonna answer short answers and then elaborate. You're gonna give more information. Does that sound okay? Do we understand? Yes. Yes. Yeah? Yes. Perfect. Okay, so, eh, Okay, I'm I'm going to take a, a screenshot of um, let's take a screenshot of the the answers and questions, and I'll send it again to the group. Okay. Uh, please tell me if you if you received the picture. I got it. Wonderful. Okay, good. I'm gonna put you back into the same group as you were before. And this time you're just gonna be discussing the questions. All right. Got it? Okay. okay. Got it. Here we go then. Did the de la uno, did you stay home on Saturday? No, I went to do my practical hours in a hotel, so I didn't stay at home. How did you spend your last birthday? I did a lot of things with my family because uh, we went to eat in a restaurant in Santa Ana. And also um, 
we ate seafood. Mm, okay. I remember that I was um, enjoying with them because I love my family and spend time with them. And also I was um, eating pizza uh, after that that we visit some tourist places. Mm, just that. <laughs> what did you do last night? I, mm, well, I watched some videos on YouTube and then I watched uh, a movie with my brother. Okay. Did you do anything special over the weekend? Uh, yes, I believe because I visited my best friend and we had a good time together and we spent um, a little bit with some food. Did you go out on Friday night? No, I didn't go out on Friday night. Okay. Um, now I can ask you the question. No. Again, I start with the first question for you. Okay. Okay. Um, and what did you do last night? Um, I saw the new One Piece live action in Netflix. Um, and me, I went, I went to, to go, I went, um, the park, and park, um, with my daughter. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. And the next... Is it you do anything special over over the weekend? Mm. Over special. Special. <sighs> I went to the university. Okay. Um, me as I I went. Um, I went visit my friend on right. Saturday night. Okay. This only. Oh. Okay, how did it go? Were you able to discuss the questions? Yeah? Any yeah. questions? Mm. No. No? No. Okay. Um, all right. So 
what we're going to do before we move on to the next part, um, I want to go a little bit over uh, the pronunciation. Okay. So, um, for example, in the chat, I wrote down. Did you have, for example, did you have a good time yesterday? So that 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 word there, did you have? Okay, we normally do not in native speakers we do not say, did you have? Normally say, did you have? Did you have? Okay, so everybody repeat after me. Did you have? Did you have? Did yeah. you have? Did you have? Did you, did, you have? Have. did you have? Did you have? No. Did you have? No. Did you have? Did you have? Did you have? Did you have? Yeah. So, for example, did you did you have a good time? Did you have? Did you have a good time? Okay. Repeat. Did you have? Did you have a good time? Did you have a good time? Did you have a good time? Okay. Good. All right. So, is there any question about that? No. So we always say, did you, okay? Did you, we don't say, did you, we say, did you, did you, okay? Did you have a good time? Did you, did you, did we you? We link the word. Hmm? We link the words. We connect words. Yeah, exactly. We connect it. So we don't say, did you have, you say, did you have. Did you have. Did you have? Okay. Did you go? Did you? Did you go? Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Yes. And when you start with the word what, uh, for example, what you do, what you do on the weekend, we say what you, what you do, what you do. So what you do, what did you, uh, so it's, we don't say, what did you do? We say, what you do? What you do? Repeat, what you do? What you do? What you do? Everybody, what you do? 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 Good. All right, any questions? No. No. You sure? <laughs> yes. <laughs> um why no 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 say did what did what did you what because, did you do? Because, what did you do? Yeah, because we um as native speakers we make things um, easier by connecting the words, right? Oh, okay. um, it, it makes it sound much more natural, okay? It, <laughs> even, in, even in Spanish, we do that. In Spanish, um, Spanish speakers, um, we, we, we do do that as well. Um, yes. It's just that we probably don't notice it um, when we're, we're doing it. Um, we did that with this word, va. En lugar de decir verdad, decimos va. Mm -hmm. Right? Or um, or okay. instead of saying para, we just say pa. Yeah. Right? Voy pa allá. Mm -hmm. Voy pa allá. Instead of saying voy para allá, we uh -huh. say voy pa allá. Mm -hmm. okay, so, so native speakers any native speaker of any language because we're speaking quickly we we normally unite words together or not words but better said sounds together yeah and in the case of of um of uh, the questions with the the, the past the simple past we end up with words like we end up with sounds like dija dija um, did you go? Did you work? It's like I have, I have, I've, yeah, or I will, I'll. Yeah, exactly. 
Or in the case of what did you, you say what you, what you do. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Yes. It's okay. All right. Okay. Perfect. All right, guys and girls. So what we're going to do is start with the next topic. And you tell me if you can see my screen. Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, good. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to be matching the phrases. This is actually what we call collocations. So these are words that normally go together, like they naturally go together. So, for example, naturally we say, do my homework. You do not say, make my homework. You say, do my homework. Okay? Um, it, you normally say, you naturally say, have a party. You don't say, make a party. Okay? Let's have a party. You don't say, let's make a party. Okay, so those are words that naturally go together, phrases and that naturally go together. So what we're going to do is we're going to be um, checking the, the vocabulary first. We say the bed, a vacation, a good time, a trip, shopping, a lot of fun, the dishes, dancing, the laundry, and some photocopies. Do you have any questions about that vocabulary? No. You can ask me any questions. Do you have questions about that vocabulary? Okay. All right, in that case, no. in, now let's look at the the verbs we have do, go, have, make, and take. Do we understand this vocabulary? Yes, we are going to use that words to the sentence that it's up. Yeah, uh, so not the sentence, but we're going to be matching uh -huh. the two, yeah. the, the verb with the noun to make natural collocations okay so okay for example like i said you'd say do my homework you don't say make my homework so i yeah. want you to match this these uh these uh words or um activities at the top at the top with the the verbs here okay so i'm gonna give you a chance there i'll give you about i don't know five minutes three minutes no four minutes Okay. Um, yeah. Okay, so we're going to do this individually. Okay.
can ask me any questions if you want. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, two more minutes. Mm, teacher. Yes. In the case of some photocopies, we can use make some photocopies. Or yes. Yes. Okay. And for vacations, we can use have. Have a vacation? No. Or take vacation? Take a vacation? No. No. Go to a vacation? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. One more minute May. and I'll check the answers. <coughs> Okay, let's start checking the answers. So, uh, the bed, what do you do with the bed? Do? You do the bed, no. No. Mm -mm. Make? Yes, you make the bed. Okay, you make the bed. All right. Um, what do you do with um, a lot of fun? Uh, Good. You have a lot of fun. Good. Excellent. What do you do with a vacation? Go. Very good. You go on vacation. Hold on. Actually, here we're not, no, because you go oh. on a vacation. But if here it is, it's just a vacation. So in this case, um, you you can take, yeah, take a vacation. Okay. If it said, if it said on, we would say go on. Okay. Um, the dishes? Do. Do the dishes? Yes. Right. Do the dishes. Okay, good. A good time? Have. Yes, have a good time.
dancing? Go. Go. Yeah, it's very good. Go dancing. Mm -hmm. A trip? Take. Take. Take a trip. Mm -hmm. Take a trip. Good. Is the laundry? Do. Yeah, that's very good. Do the laundry. Uh, shopping? Go. Excellent. Go. And finally, some photocopies. Make. Make very good. Make some photocopies, and that's it. You guys got it. Very good. Bravo, bravo, bravo. Okay, so that's it. That's the end of the collocations. All right, I'm gonna stop sharing, and I'm going to take attendance. Okay, make sure that your camera is on everybody and turn, so turn on your camera so I don't have to be asking if you're here or not. Anaisela Yanis? Present, teacher. Wonderful. Ana Ruth Perez Leiva? Ana Ruth Perez Leiva? Carlos Ernesto Flores Bonilla? Carlos Ernesto Flores Bonilla. Eh, Diana Cristabel Meléndez Rivera. Present teacher. Wonderful, thank you. Eh, Gerardo Jose de Paz. I'm here. Okay, very good. Jose Mauricio Martinez. I'm here. Excellent. Um, Juan, Juana Mar, uh, Margarita Sea. Juana Margarita. Eh, Catherine Suleima Poca Sangre. Present. Excellent. Catherine Nicole Salazar Larios. Thank you, teacher. Excellent. Katy Jordana Dos Cruces. Present, teacher. Excellent. Thank you. Um, Laura Lisa Peña. Present teacher. Eh, Lorena Araceli Hernández. Present teacher. Excellent. Melissa Cecilia Petran. Uh, Present teacher. Okay, good. Mirna del Carmen Ruano Reyes. Present teacher. Excellent. Oscar Otoniel Cruz Guzmán. Present. Excellent, thank you. Uh, Roberto Carlos Alfaro. Roberto Carlos Al eh, Alfaro Alberto. Sebastián Guadal Sebastiana Guadalupe Aguilar. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Um, Tamara Eugenia Aguilar. Present teacher. Excellent. And finally, uh, Ursula Adriana Burgos. Ursula Adriana Burgos. Okay. All right. Very good. ¿Se me quedó alguien? Por casualidad. Okay. Very good. Okay, everybody. So it's been a pleasure. Um, having you today and we were going to see each other um tomorrow okay okay so take care um acuérdense de trabajar siempre en la plataforma eh, y que como son cinco unidades entonces um es, es, está eh, se espera que ustedes hayan completado por lo menos la unidad uno y ya están con la unidad dos casi completa okay so, solamente recordatorio de eso. Any questions that you want to ask before we disconnect? No. 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 Okay. In that case, everybody, that's it. 
take care and um, see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.